Hello, it's Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. In this lesson, we're talking about ad copy and I'm actually gonna share with you my four key strategies that you need to include in all of your ads so that you can make sure that people are clicking on your ads. You don't want people just to see your ads, you want them to click on your ads. And these are four skills that I've that created and put together over hours and hours and years of different split testing and different trials that we're, and testing that we've done in different Google Ads campaigns. But before we get into that teaching, I actually wanna offer you a free gift. And it's a free gift for anyone. And it's just to say, my way I say thank you for joining this training and staying to the end of the training. And what it actually is, it's, it's my Google Ads optimization checklist. Now this is a checklist that I've developed over quite a number of years, and I still use this checklist every day. Now what this checklist does is this checklist actually breaks down what you need to do in your Google Ads campaigns to achieve the best results every 72 hours, what you need to be doing every week, what you need to be doing every month, and what you need to be doing every three months. And it's something that I wanna give with you and just share with you for free to say thank you. So that's gonna be around at the end, but right now, let's jump into this training of the four techniques that you need in your Google Ads copy. Okay, so let's get into writing ad copy for Google Ads. What I wanted to do firstly is I just wanted to actually take you through so you actually know what this copy is gonna look like. And what I'm actually showing you is three of my best performing ads in a campaign that we run for our villa resort that we've got in Bali. So what you're looking at here is, is you can see is that this is what your ads look like on mobile. And the first thing I want you to actually notice is the, the first thing that really sticks out is this, what's in the yellow is what's called your headlines. Now you have three different headlines. And then un underneath that in the green is what we call our descriptions. But what I really want you to take notice of is that the headlines are a lot more evident than the descriptions. So when you're looking at writing your ad copy, you really wanna focus in on your headlines. Not, now that's not saying that the descriptions aren't important, but I'm just saying you need to remember and look at when someone's doing a Google search, they've got a whole heap of different ads and a whole heap of different listings they're gonna be seeing. If you don't focus and you don't absolutely knock your headlines out of the park, you're just not gonna get cut through. And then what I've also just wanted to show you is this what it looks like in your desktop down here. And these little elements in red is what's called site link extensions. Now we're not gonna focus on these extensions today because you've also got in the blue there your call extensions because I'm just focusing on your headlines and descriptions. But I just did wanna mention them because it is an important thing to consider, especially on mobile with the site link extensions and the call extension, just by adding those, you can double the size of your ad. So it is an important element, but as I said today, we're just focusing in on these headlines and descriptions. All right, so what you do need to know about Google Ads is that it's, it's, it is short form. So you've only got three headlines that you can use with 30 characters each. You've got two descriptions for 90 characters each, and you can actually edit the display path URLs for 15 characters each. So any way you look at it, you've only got a really, really small window to grab someone's attention. And this is also putting it in the context of your one ad of potentially four ads that could be appearing at the top of the screen, depending on what niche you're, you're operating in. There could be image ads, there could be shopping ads, it could be Google Map ads. So you've really got to make sure that your ads are going to grab their attention. And one of the free pro tips I did want to give you on this is something just as simple as capitalizing. So capitalizing the first letter of every word within your ads is a great way to help your ads stand out. It doesn't violate AdWords policies on capitalization. And, and two companies, Wordstream and Periscopic, have conducted studies into the effects of using title case on the click-through ratio, CTR, and found that ad copy with title case outperforms sentence case. So what I mean by that is, for example, book your appointment. Now, if you just capitalize the first letter of every word, it just helps it stand out. And this is something that I've tested in my own campaigns and I can say that this, this really does make a big difference to your campaign. So there's one just free ad tip that's gonna save you a lot of uh, stress. All right, now I wanna get into the four things that you need to focus on in your headlines. So we've already established and I've given you that example and shown you why headlines are so important. And the reason is, is because they're in that bolder blue font and they just, they just stand out more. 
So look, what as I sort of said there, as you can see through here, the thing that you notice straight away is the those dark blue headlines. So, you know, you remember you've only got a couple of seconds, probably not even that, probably less than a second to grab their attention. Your headlines are bold and blue, so they stand out more than the descriptions. So if your headlines do not grab their attention, they won't even read your descriptions, let alone click on your ad. So the four things you need in your headlines is firstly, you need to have keyword focus. Now the reason for this is this actually improves your CTR or click-through ratio, which is the percentage of times that people see your ad versus they click on it. And the reason for this is that they actually see what they're searching for. So if someone was to do a search for, you know, buy, you know, they're wanting to buy men's shoes and your first headline says, buy men's shoes here, uh, you've got a really good chance of them clicking on your ad. Now the other thing that does help is as well, is that Google also includes keyword focus in their ad quality scores. And that's just a reminder that ultimately, Google's focus here in, in all of their search is they wanna match searcher intent with ads and websites that are, that are matching what they're looking for. So if you really make sure that your, your headline includes that keyword focus, you're gonna be the first step on the way to getting them to click on your ad. The second thing is a brand mention. Now for me, this is a no brainer. Uh, you're paying for the ads, so don't waste the opportunity to get your brand name in front of people. I am surprised at how many people don't do this. It's a simple one. Include your brand name in your ads. The other one is a strong call to action. And this is another one, and it's quite a simple question of what do you want them to do, to, to do today? Or what benefit will they get? Do you want them to call you? Do you want them to book now? Do, do you want them to buy your products? Do you have a sale on at the moment? You've gotta be a really, really remembering that you've only got their attention for a little bit. Why should they click on the ad? What benefit are you giving them for them to click on your ad right now? And the last one is, I'll just lift this up, is use emotional triggers. And what we're talking about here is, you know, how in your ad can you use things like curiosity, amusement? Can you make them laugh? Can you make them feel pain and, and sadness? What are those different emotional triggers that you can use so that you're, you're, you're drawing, drawing them into your ad and wanting them to click through? So here are my, my three historically best performing ads. So you can see with this one, straight away off the bat, now obviously this is for a villa resort in Bali, specifically in Seminyak, and it's one bedroom villas, and you can see right off the bat, one bedroom, Seminyak villa. So we've got that keyword focus. So we've got this ad targeting for one bedroom, Seminyak villa searches, and this alone just puts us so far ahead of our competition because a lot of people don't do this. People are searching one bedroom, Seminyak villa, they see it straight there. The second thing that we have got on there is that we found whenever we've included the sale on now, and we put, you know, save up to 45%. Now this one has been a, a winner for us. And this is this curiosity and humor, the simple line skinny dip in your own pool. These villas are private villas with a, you know, three meter wall around them. So, and, and they've each got their own pool. So it really sets us stuff up to people can, if they want to, they can skinny dip in their own pool. We know we've had people actually make bookings because we've advertised that you can skinny dip in our pools. And you know, it's, it's something that's a little bit fun, it creates some curiosity, but ultimately what it does do is it gets them onto my website so then we can continue the sales process. The second ad, as I said before, brand mention. Straight away, we just went to My Villas in Bali and we get that mention out there. The second one, a keyword focus. This one's actually focusing on luxury Seminyak Villas. So we put that in there. And then this other one, the last one, guaranteed best price. Now this was, it's a fear emotion. So what we're actually doing is we're removing that fear with a guarantee that we're guaranteeing that you will get the best price by booking direct with us. And then the last one is a bit of a mix and that's we've got the uh, strong keyword focus and a strong call to action. And this one we're actually put in how much they're actually saving. Sale on now, save 45% and that has also worked really, really well for us. So, so you can see through here, what we're looking at doing is, with your ads, is we're testing different, of the four different elements, we're testing different ones together, but the biggest one that we've always find is, is that you need to include that fear, or that curiosity and that humor, so that emotional trigger, and also that strong 
call to action. Why should they click on your ads today? Now that we've shared those four key elements, what I do wanna talk about is just really, really quickly is how you go about and writing your ads. And one thing that I do strongly recommend is that before you get into Google Ads and actually start writing at your ads, I would actually create a Google Sheet. And generally what I do here, and if you've watched our keyword research video, and if you haven't done that, in the description I've actually linked to that keyword research video, is that you've already created your keywords in a, in a Google Sheet. Now what you're actually doing, you've actually broken that into your campaigns and your ad groups. Now I add this other little column here which is called a focus keyword column. What that actually allows me to do is it just, it just gives me a really strong reminder of all the different ads that I'm writing for this campaign, this one bedroom Villa Seminyak, is that I need to remember that I need to include one bedroom Villa Seminyak in the keywords, in, in the headline somewhere. So I go this one in here, one bedroom Villa Seminyak, to the headline two down here. And then for the two bedroom villa, similar, similar thing. I'll change that obviously to be a two bedroom villa Seminyak, two bedroom villa Seminyak in there. And then we're putting in our different call to actions, you know, guaranteed best price. Can you skinny dip in your own pool? The other thing that this does allow is that basically you can cut and copy and check it all through. And you know, for these ones, this, this ad copy is right to go. I just need to change that one bedroom Seminyak Villa to two bedroom Seminyak Villa. And then I can essentially use the same ad copy. So it also makes it a lot, I, I find it makes it a lot easier because you can just cut and copy it into your sheet. And then when you're ready to put it into Google Ads, it's just a matter of uploading it or cutting it and copying it into there. Look, there's my tips for your success in Google Ads remembering those four key elements and especially focusing on that. You've got to have that strong call to action and also that emotional trigger. So I hope that's been of some, some help today. As I said in the description, we're going to have the link to the keyword research. And as I also said, if you do have any questions, please post a comment below. I do come back and check these videos and I'll reply and help you as much as we can uh, so that you can see success in your Google Ads campaigns. Now, as promised, here is your free gift. So if you just go to definedigitalacademy.com, Google Ads checklist, I'll put this link in the description as well. That'll take you through to a special page on my website where you can access that document so that you can actually see how I go about optimizing my campaigns every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every year. Thanks again for sticking around. It's been a pleasure teaching you, and I look forward to seeing you soon.